Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. If you guys do, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. I need a Red Bull. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be in my car for today's video. I'm literally in the passenger seat. Like, there's a driver's seat. I'm over here just because it's the best. I feel like I'm blending in with my background because I wore a black and I have black hair and everything. Which actually, my black hair is kind of fading more to a brown, but it's a vibe. So today, I just wanted to like catch up, talk about what's going on, talk about future plans, and answer questions because honestly, it's been kind of hard to figure out what to film while I'm here living at my friend's house because unless we're all going and doing something, I don't really know what to film and I don't have like a good film spot because I have all my stuff in my room so my car is kind of the only spot that I can film so I'm trying to get as many fun videos out and still be interactive with you guys making good videos but it's hard to be as consistent just while I'm living here at my friends once I get to my own place I feel like I'll be able to do better and be more consistent again because usually I post Tuesday Thursday Sunday but recently it's just been like I just vlog when we do stuff and then post after we do it so anyway you guys asked me a ton of questions I'm just gonna kind of breeze through and catch up and talk with you guys is weird living with people I met on the internet it is kind of crazy because I met all of these people literally online and then I met them once in real life before I moved in and at first I was kind of nervous about it and it is only a month of living here but that's still like a long time to be living with people you don't really know so I was a little nervous but honestly it has been so fine I get along really well with them like they're all my best friends now I am really ready to get in my own place because I like having my own personal space and all that kind of stuff I mean who doesn't it's been fun but I'm also excited but we're we're literally like a week away from me moving into my new place going along with that another question when do you move into your own place so I move into my place July 19th so like a week how are you doing starting somewhere fresh away from your history? I did want to talk a little bit about this. The whole reason that I wanted to move was just because I needed a fresh start. I've lived in Utah multiple times before. My rings are on the wrong fingers. And I don't know, I just like didn't really like, oh my gosh, this is not. <gasps> I wasn't really liking the vibes, I guess. I don't really know how to explain. And just I was living in the same place that a lot of bad stuff had gone down. And I don't want to move back to Missouri. I talked about this like multiple times, but I just don't really I love Missouri. I don't think I want to live there. I like being on my own and having my own independence and kind of being my own person away from like, you know, my childhood place that I grew up. What's your favorite part about living in Texas? I don't know. I just like it here. I like the warm weather. It is summer. It is hot though. I like the humidity because Utah was really dry and I'm used to humidity from Missouri. Uh, I really like HEV and I like Whataburger. So a few things that are just a Texas thing. I just like, I don't know. Everyone's just like Texas. I'm like, all right fair enough so a ton of people have been asking if I'm planning on getting the cats back once I move into my new place and I made a whole video explaining this but no I have given them to Niall and Brittany and they are keeping them what has been the most stressful thing about living in a new place it's always stressful this isn't my first time moving across the country but this is my first time moving somewhere I've never like been I don't really know anyone like I went by myself and obviously I have my friends to kind of show me around but it is kind of stressful just not knowing where anything is like if I want to go do something I don't know what to do because I don't know what's around but it's also at the same time a really fun aspect of moving somewhere new because you just have to figure it out am I going to do an apartment tour yes once I move into my new place I will do an empty apartment tour I'm gonna do a moving vlog all of that you already know are you happy with your decision to move so far this has been the best decision I've made thus far I just really like it here I like my friends and I just feel like you know like independent and just I don't know all the things that I guess I was chasing after I feel like I have achieved. As far as I know, I don't really plan on moving from here anytime soon. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm never going to move again, but I will say when I moved to Utah, the plan was I was going to move to Utah and then I was going to move somewhere else after that and just move like once a year. But I really like it here, so I don't see myself wanting to move, but I'm not going to speak for Sydney in a year because Sydney a year ago is completely different than Sydney right now. <laughs> How are you feeling about this new chapter in your life? Uh, I'm definitely feeling really good. It's definitely difficult to change so much in my life but I finally feel like I'm my most authentic self and I'm finally being like happy again so of course there's like a million questions asking this and I love that you guys are genuinely concerned for me just people asking like how am I really doing what's my mental health like so I'm gonna get real with y'all 
for a second. So I haven't talked about this much, but in pretty much all of 2020, I was like severely depressed. I've never been this depressed before. I was having panic attacks like every single day and I could hardly get myself out of bed. I hated leaving the house. Seeing people just freaked me out. I don't know what it was. I just like basically broke. And in 2021, my life completely flipped upside down and everything that I thought I knew was solid wasn't. Everything kind of fell apart and my entire life changed. Like it is a 180 from where I was a year ago. It's really difficult, but at the same time, it's really good because I'm not in that low mental place that I was before. I'm finally feeling like more like free, more my like myself, more like I can like breathe again almost. But that being said, I'm not going to sit here and say that this has been easy. It has not. Like I swear I'll go like a week, two weeks, even like three weeks. I'm like, man, I'm doing so good. I'm fine. Nothing's bothering me. This is the best decision. And then one night everything will just hit me and I will cry myself to sleep because I'm like, my life is a mess. Everything just changed everything turned upside down and it's really hard i mean i'm going through the most intense breakup you can go through like i'm literally getting a divorce and nothing about that is easy not one thing <laughs> sometimes it is really really hard in fact it's kind of always really really hard it's always like in the back of my head like i'll be like yeah i'm good i'm fine and then it just kind of hits me and i have a mental breakdown but i feel like it's slowly being less and less um like it used to be like once a day it would hit me and i'd cry now it's and then it was like once a week and now I feel like I can go like a week or two weeks and I'm okay. And then it kind of hits me. But I think that's just part of the healing process is just coping with those feelings and getting through it. And I feel like I'm doing it in a pretty healthy way. And so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. It's definitely going to take me a long time to heal from this. You know, I have to keep moving on with my life. The world keeps moving and I have to keep moving with it or I'm going to get left behind. I'm trying to throw myself into my work and creating good friendship and bettering myself. Once I move to my new place, I really want to get in the habit of new habits good healthy habits and stuff like that right now i'm just kind of chilling this is like it's honestly been nice living here because it's like i've almost have just one month to just relax to just kind of feel the emotions to just not stress about a bunch of stuff because i'm just living at my friends and i'm just kind of going with the flow right now but once i get to my new place i really want to kick it in gear and try to better myself so there's more questions about living with my friends like how have i maintained myself with like personal space and time and stuff like that so it actually works out really well because they all have jobs and so during the day everyone's gone charlie and one usually Usually both get back around 5 5 30 and then we'll like make dinner and hang out for the night and then go to bed at like 9 or 10 so it's not like they're here all the time and then like on the weekends our other friends will come up or if they're off work they'll just come up and hang out and so it's actually kind of perfect because you know everyone works and I have to work through the day too I have plenty of personal space and personal time how am I liking Houston so far so um, I'm sure you guys could tell by the vlogs but I don't live in Houston I live right outside of Houston the place that I'm moving to the address technically does have Houston on the address but it is like um like a little suburb outside of Houston but that where I'm moving is a lot closer to Houston but where I'm living now it's kind of far and whenever I drive through Houston I swear I can drive anywhere now like if I can drive through Houston traffic I can drive anywhere I really can we were in the car and I think Charlie said that Houston is now deemed worse traffic than LA so just keep that in mind <laughs> it's honestly fine and I'm the one who drives everywhere all the time because Juan and Charlie's car is a bull don't have AC and so we always take my car but we've gone into Houston and done stuff in Houston only like once or twice and I really like it I think it's a cool city I mean it's huge so it's gonna take me a long time before I've even like explored it even just a little bit and as far as Texas goes I have visited I actually lived in Dallas in fifth grade I visited Austin in October we almost moved to Austin it was between Austin and, and Utah and then I've been to San Antonio when I was like 15 Houston was actually the only one I hadn't been to and I moved here. Has moving changed my relationship with any family members? No, I mean it's the same as if I lived in Utah. Obviously it sucks I don't live by my sisters or my cousins anymore but they can come visit anytime. What's been the biggest difference between Utah and Texas? So I actually think it'd be really fun to do a video where I kind of vlog and it's been like five minutes talking about the differences between living in the Midwest, the, mass, the Midwest, the West, and the South.
out uh, because there are differences and I'm like okay that's weird like here are the highways there's like um it's called the frontage I think it's like next to the highway and then just like one of the roads will just mer merge onto the highway that is not what it is like in Utah or Missouri and as much as I loved the mountains I actually really like the nature here it reminds me more of Missouri if everything's like green and there's trees everywhere I thought I loved the mountains but the more I lived in Utah the more I felt trapped by the mountains oh here's a good question what are your top goals to accomplish in the next year or two so my number Number one goal is to just better improve myself. I want to get more just healthy in general, mentally, physically, all of the healthy, emotionally, whatever it is, I want to be like well-rounded. And that's gonna take more than a year or two to get done, but I wanna really put a lot of effort towards myself. And then my other big goal is I would love to come up with another viral video concept. As like a creator on YouTube, that is like the dream that your video goes viral. And I've had it happen a couple of times obviously you guys all know about my most viral video um, all the other videos that have gone viral were just like random it just had like good keywords in it or whatever and then it kind of took off but my first video to really go viral my music video we planned that as hey this is such a good idea it's gonna go viral like there's no way it's not it was in 2016 when all of the youtubers were making music videos so we're like let's just make this joke of a music video because all of them were like being serious we're like we'll just do like parody vibes and then we'll post it it's gonna go viral and it did and i would really like to put a lot of effort into making a few viral video content type of stuff because normally i'm just doing like vlogs or kind of sit down videos but i would maybe like once a month like to put a ton of effort into one video like make a more like a film type of video or something that could go viral some I don't really know what exactly but I used to do this a lot more like fry to go viral and then I kind of stopped and I'm just like vibing but I kind of want to get into that again because it makes me more creative so that's another goal of mine and then this will probably be the last question as a lot of people have just been asking how's the divorce going and any updates with that so uh basically we're still legally married uh we've been separated since April, but we're still legally married because we're just trying to work out the logistics and you have before so the way a divorce works you can either just agree okay you get this I get this you sign the papers you're good to go that's the cheap way to do it or you get lawyers involved like if you can't agree and all this different stuff so we're just still trying to come on an agreement and it's been really really stressful and it's not fun it's not fun emotionally it's not fun in any way really at all but I know a lot of people have been asking for an update so that's kind of the update and then along with that people have been asking a lot which I find kind of weird about me and dating. And it's gonna probably be a long time before I'm open to that. Um, if anything, if there's like someone I'm interested in, I would rather just be friends for a long time because I am in no position to be in a relationship. I want to be happy with myself before I am ever in a relationship again. And I think I just need a lot of time to heal and move forward with my life and move on with me because that would be so unfair to just throw what I have onto someone else, you know? Um, so I don't know if that really makes sense but I'm trying to move on but I'm still legally married so I'm still working on the divorce and uh, just trying to repair emotionally and I've taken a lot of steps to get to where I am right now versus where I was a couple months ago when this all first happened. I'm really happy with where I'm at but I'm nowhere where I want to be but you know that's just part of moving on and moving forward with life is it takes time it takes time to heal and although it hurts it gets better every day and then sometimes it's worse but then it gets better <laughs> it's like two steps forward one step back so i hope that makes sense and i don't really like talking about it on here because the more i talk about it the more i have to rethink about it and kind of relive it and then people comment about it and then I, I feel obligated to answer questions about it so i don't like talking about it too much but i figured i'd give you guys somewhat of an update so there you go also i just want to say because i have had people in my dms and stuff saying if you're not legally uh divorced yet you should try to work it out that is not on the table it's not an option it's not an option for me it's not an option for him it's not an option for us and it is really hurtful to go to reply to some dms and then that's what i see which i know i don't have to read them but just know that it's done okay we i'm not going to go into depth about what happened i probably never will just know that we are both happier apart than we were together and yeah it's time to move on so if y'all could move on that would be great because it's going to take me a lot longer to move on and move forward with my life honestly this whole video just is about moving on moving forward
so that's what I'm gonna title it. <laughs> I'm moving on, loving myself and figuring out who I am. Also, this is great. Just anytime anyone is like thinking, oh, I wonder if she's dating this person with like all my new friends I have or whatever, just come back to this video and be like, oh, okay, she's not open to dating. Got it. And there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> Learning to love myself. And honestly, I kind of want to take a second to just talk about heartbreak for a second because I know so many of you guys can probably relate. So for me, this is like... <laughs> Let's just take it back. All right, so in high school, you guys know I was boy crazy. A lot of you watched me in high school. I was always like dating a new guy, but I was never like official with anyone. It was just kind of like, I'm into this guy, we would talk and then it would end and then move on, move on, move on. And the first like real technically boyfriend I had, we were never official, but he's the reason I got my first viral on YouTube and it took me like two years to get over that. I am definitely the type that when I get emotionally invested in someone, I am emotionally invested and I can't get over it. And so that was really hard for me. And then straight from that, I started dating my ex-husband and we became official when I was 17 and so we have a lot of history together and we'd actually broken up twice and then we'd gotten engaged after our a couple months after our second breakup it's just really hard because when you end up that close with someone and you picture your entire life together and you have your kids names together all of that kind of stuff it's not easy and I feel like a lot of people think I've gotten over it quickly or whatever but I definitely haven't I'm not just over it it still hurts and even though I know and we came to a mutual decision that we were happier apart than we were together it does not make it any easier because it still hurts and you know there's little things that will remind you of that person and then you're just taken back again and like wow and it hurts and no I don't want to get back together with that person to just push it aside and get out it's hard to just get over it you know and it takes time and I mean I was with this person for three four years and then I was married to this person so it's not just gonna take a few months to get over it so it's definitely hard and that's the reality is that it's not easy and I do spend time sad and crying about it and not okay and all that but then I just kind of have to remember why we're not together anymore and I mean that hurts too it hurts knowing why things failed and why it didn't work out we should care more about the individual people and not them as a couple anyway that's my two cents and a lot of other people are going through heartbreak and i feel you i got you i'm here and you just gotta keep going the world keeps moving you gotta move on you gotta move with it and you gotta keep going forward thanks for coming to my tip talk <laughs> that's gonna be it that is our little catch up i hope that this helped answer some questions and figure out what is going on in my life thank you for watching i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye